Hey developers, choosing between Netlify and Render for your next project? Let's break them down in a few minutes, explain what they do, and compare them to find the best fit. Stick around for a handy comparison chart. First, Netlify. It's a go-to platform for hosting static websites and Jamstack apps. Netlify shines with its global CDN, automatic scaling, and continuous deployment via Git. It offers serverless functions, a slick dashboard, and features like split testing and forms for static sites. Its free tier is generous, perfect for personal projects, with paid plans starting at $19 per month for teams. This is best for front-end heavy apps and static content. Now, Render. This is a unified cloud platform for both static sites and full-stack apps. Render supports languages like Node.js, Python, and Docker with auto-deployments from Git, free TLS certificates, and private networking. It also provides managed databases like PostgreSQL. Its free tier includes static sites, but paid plans start at $7 per month for dynamic apps. It's ideal for developers needing back-end flexibility. So, how do they stack up? Netlify is king for static sites and Jamstack, with a simple UI and features like forums and analytics baked in. It's less suited for complex backends, Render, however, handles both static and dynamic apps, supporting databases and Docker for full-stack projects. Netlify's free tier is more generous for static sites, while Render's pricing scales better for backend heavy apps. Choose Netlify for fast static site deployment and front-end workflows, and Render for full-stack apps with databases or custom runtimes. That's it, guys. Check out our comparison chart below to see the differences at a glance, and drop a comment with your favorite platform. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech breakdowns, and I'll see you in the next video.